So my dear friends, I come back to you today to speak about knowledge, another of the great gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because Holy Spirit, God is endowed with knowledge. Let me begin with a small prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, bless and thank you for this day. We thank you for this gift of knowledge that you give us to the Holy Spirit. We need to know many things. We need to understand many things in our life. And this knowledge of yours, which is spiritual knowledge, which is a treasure for our life, is eternal, at the same time helps to live our daily life. Give us that knowledge that is required to come closer to you. Give us that knowledge that helps us to serve others. Give us to that knowledge to acknowledge that we are nothing before you and we know nothing, that you are wise, that you are knowledgeable and that you are able to give us this gift in a best way. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. So my dear friends, as I was saying, knowledge is a very special gift and this gift because perhaps some people can mix up with wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge is that we learn from outside. Wisdom is that which comes from inside. Knowledge is about many, many things of the world, of the scriptures, of our dear realities. But wisdom is that particular gift that comes from within that we need not be knowledgeable. We need not learn many things in order to be wise. But knowledge is also important. And to think that the first book of the Bible speaks about knowledge. You know, when Adam and Eve were created, God told them they could eat everything but accept that particular fruit. And why? Because you will come to know the difference between good and evil. God, Genesis chapter 2 verse 9, God forbid them to eat that fruit that gives knowledge of what is good and what is bad knowledge of what is good and bad. So knowledge as far as we know that comes from the first book or the first chapter of the Bible itself because God is source of all knowledge. There is no one else who can be more knowledgeable than God himself. In fact, the psalmist says, Psalm 44 verse 21, For he knows how we are made of and he remembers that we are dust. Because God knows our inmost thoughts and our inmost reflections He knows. God knows our thoughts and the secrets of our heart. That's the Psalm verse 44, 21. For He knows how we are made of. He remembers what that we are dust. Psalm 103 verse 14. So there are some People who say this knowledge is very important and uh, knowledge does not mean only studying our uh, academic studies, our degrees, etc. But knowledge means much more, much more. And surely the people who are knowledgeable, I am told Einstein who was considered one of the greatest scientists of the world. At the age, at his advanced stage, he is supposed to have said that what I have learned or what I know is just a speck, just a blade of grass that I have known because there is so much, much more to be learnt and known. But all the same, knowledge is power. The one who is knowledgeable is powerful. And today among the things that are considered as powerful, we speak of the atomic energy, we speak of the electrical energy, we speak of so many powers. Knowledge is also one of the powers. I remember that a teacher, it seems, was teaching the students and being very enthusiastic to involve the students' participation, she asked the children one question. What can you do or what power do you have? The children at the beginning were a little silent because they couldn't understand what power we have. But suddenly there's a girl who got up and said, Miss, I have power in my hand because I can hammer anything, I can cut the bricks, 
I am a karate champion. I can cut the bricks. There is another one who said, I have power in my legs. I have power in my legs because I can run, I can run fast. And the third one gave an answer. I have power in knowledge. In power in knowledge. And I think that's a good answer. Because knowledge is power. The more we learn, the more things that we know. And surely like the Genesis, it could be good knowledge. It could be bad knowledge. And knowledge could be used also for good things and for bad things. Like the atomic energy, it can be used for good things. It can be used for destruction also. In the Bible, we have characters who are knowledgeable. King Solomon, as we saw on the day that we spoke about wisdom, that he was a wise man. And 2 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 10 says, His prayer to God, Give me wisdom and knowledge. Give him wisdom and knowledge. And I said the little difference between wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge is coming from the outside. Wisdom comes from inside, but both are important. David in the Psalms prays, Teach me good judgment and knowledge, because I trust in your commands. Give me knowledge, I need it, and your judgment, because I trust in your commands. Psalm 119, verse 66. The book of Proverbs says, The intelligent people want to learn. But stupid people are satisfied with ignorance. You know, sometimes we boast, some things that we boast of are boasting of our ignorance, not of our knowledge. And perhaps as the book of Proverbs says it well, Proverbs 15, verse 14, the intelligent people want to learn, but stupid people are satisfied with ignorance. Jesus adds a new dimension to the gift of knowledge. And this gift is possible with our connection with God, trust in God, because God knows much. And God knows much more than we can imagine. In Matthew verse, chapter 6, verse 8, he says, Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is in the context when Jesus speaks about nature. Look at the birds of the air. Look at the lilies of the field. And they are fed, they are looked after so well because God knows. God's knowledge of them is much more than all of us. They don't have to wait for their meals. They don't have to be wait to be dressed and decorated. But God knows when, what time and what season that they could flower, they could mature. In the Acts of the Apostles, we also hear this. And God, who knows the thoughts of everyone, showed his approval of the Gentiles by giving Holy Spirit to them. Which means knowledge, though it is a powerful weapon, it's not the monopoly of some people. Because the scripture itself says at the time when the Gentiles were not accepted normally, the apostles accept the wisdom, the knowledge of the Gentiles. Because God who knows the thoughts of everyone, showed his approval of the Gentiles by giving them the Holy Spirit. That means the Holy Spirit is given also to the Gentiles in the form of the form of the knowledge that is given to them. St. Paul in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 18 says, The love of Christ surpasses all knowledge. As I said, all our knowledge and especially the Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit is connected with God. You dissociate God with knowledge, perhaps there's no knowledge at all, it might be a foolishness also. As St. Paul would say, there are certain things in chapter in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1, he says, Such knowledge puffs a person with pride, but love only builds up. Love only builds up. Because sometimes some knowledge can be a stumbling block. Because for the Jews, it is a scandal. For the Greeks, it is a foolishness. But the wisdom of God, the love of God, the knowledge of God is the source of salvation for us Christians. So that is the type of knowledge that St. Paul speaks of when he says that the love of Christ surpasses all knowledge. We have to remember that 
knowledge is a gift but it's a gift to be shared with others all education of the others is a gift of knowledge that we spread with the others perhaps we priests and religious our christian institutions are spreading knowledge are giving knowledge to others because what we have received from god we give to the others and education is considered the best investment for the future because it gives knowledge to the children investment in knowledge pays the best interest says winston churchill and also education is the platform that makes it possible to defeat all barriers so therefore education or the gift of knowledge that we receive we should also share with others we see jesus himself learning from those those elders in the temple that they impart to jesus certain parts certain portions of the knowledge perhaps which jesus is not know but jesus also converses with them and surely mother mary knowledgeable as she was in her own way was also the teacher for jesus to teach many things about life and knowledge of life the facts of life the joys of life is a very important in our sense for knowledge knowledge is connected with the virtue of hope knowledge is not only power but also a uh, a weapon or rather a gift for the others as hope so ones who are gifted with knowledge can empower the others with hope as it were and um, uh, we see that beautiful quotation of jesus in the temple said about jesus in the temple he grew up in stature before god and men which means he grew up in knowledge and and if he was filled with a uh, promises and hope for the others and so also we who are endowed and the gift that we get from god as knowledge we also have to share with others to be beacons of hope to the others we pray for this gift very specially for all of us as i pray for you heavenly father we bless and thank you for this day we thank you for the gift of knowledge a powerful gift a gift that gives us power and to power to ward off all evils misconceptions superstitions and to come closer to you and as we have just heard that knowledge and good knowledge is possible with intimacy with you because ultimately we share your knowledge or rather you impart us your knowledge to us help us to be instruments of knowledge and education to the others to spread the beacon of light of knowledge to the others to in order to empower them in order to liberate them so that ultimately education or spreading of knowledge becomes a powerful weapon in the hands of those who wish to be liberated we ask a special grace for all our teachers for all our professors and all those who are teaching the truths the knowledgeable facts and the other matters that give us wisdom so that we may be able to impart hope to the future generation as we impart knowledge to them we make our prayer through christ our lord the lord be with you and also with you may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen This episode is sponsored by Evolve Back Resorts.